glad to be out here on the deck. It's a beautiful day, and we got some great music for you. We're back with um, frontman Kelly Hansen and bassist Jeff Pilsen. They are from the rock band Foreigner. And we are, yeah, we are here talking rock and roll, giving back and number one hit songs, and they're gonna perform for us in a little bit, but you guys have seen, I was reading this, some 400% increase in downloads recently from your music, which, by the way, your catalog is ginormous. Yeah. You know, you, is it a, a tribute to it shows like Glee and Rock of Ages and The Voice, bringing all of this stuff back and making it contemporary it, again? It really is. It's kind, it's kind of a, the continuing story of that kind of thing. Uh, the last couple of years especially, that's really kind of surged for us. Rock of Ages having three of our classic rock songs in there, yeah, more than any did. other band. Yeah. And then uh, The Voice with, uh, uh, what's his name, um, McDermott? Who's McDermott. McDermott. Is it McDermott? Is that what his name was? <laughs> no. On the show, who did it twice? Who did the, oh, oh, oh no, oh, Eleven's oh, twice oh, on the show. Did. So that was really great. And uh, I think that just means that um, the songs have really permeated uh, our culture. People really know them after all these years. And uh, and they're still really great songs. And it really comes yeah. down to that. But it, they stood the test of time, really. Exactly. I mean, not, you know, that's what makes, I think, a rock classic a rock classic. Absolutely. Not. Yeah. Right. And, uh, when you break it down to acoustic and do it, you can really tell the quality of the song as well. That's why on uh, uh, our, our latest disc, it feels like the first time, which is a triple disc set, we uh, we have these acoustic versions of foreigner songs that we've never done before, and, and uh, it really tells a lot about the quality of the music. Where does it put you on the Billboard charts as far as the mo your album selling? It's like you're right up there. There's with a, you know, this band has sold over 70 million albums That's and uh, 16 top 30. Uh, hits and uh, it's it's uh, it's quite a quite a catalog, quite well, a legacy. One of these days, we might actually go somewhere. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you might <laughs> actually <laughs> accomplish something. Yeah. yeah, feel good about yourself. <laughs> How does it feel when you turn on network television? Yeah. I mean, being those rock and rollers, you're sort of a rebel, whatever you that sort of idea of you know living life against the rules, and, and seeing, you see the voice, Glee. you see Glee, Glee. performing, Rock of Ages. How does it feel uh, that your music is It depends out? on how well the song is done. That really is, is what it is for me, because I've, I've heard uh, Foreigner songs done well and, and not so well, and, and other classic rock tunes. And, mm -hmm. um, but I, uh, you, have to, you have to be thankful that people are interested in, and, and want to do this, do this stuff, and, and it makes you feel proud that people care enough to... to and then when, you know, when the judges on The Voice, they, they talk about, I want to know love as being one of the greatest you know, songs, ballads yeah. in right. modern history. So that's that's really great. You know who is performing? I'm sorry, Christina. That's okay. I jumped I just on want you. To try to are you warm enough? Do you? Yeah, I'm warm enough now. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. You know who does perform your songs well are these choirs yes. that yeah. you guys yeah. go to towns yeah. and you help raise money to put music yeah. education back in our schools. Right, right. Well, the the deal with that is um, everyone knows that there's a lot of budget cuts going on everywhere. And in schools, the first thing to get cut is the arts. And so we're just trying to do a, a, a little uh, bit uh, to help uh, not only raise awareness about uh, the importance of keeping some of these programs, but also the awareness that people need to step up and try to do more for their kids in their schools uh, rather than just uh, purely paying your taxes and getting on with it. But what we try to do is uh, we, we've been doing this for several years now. We go around uh, on our touring schedule and we get in touch with radio stations or we run contests or we actually just invite particular groups to come on stage and sing with us in the choir for I Want to Know What Love Is. And then we donate some uh, money to their, to their music program. Um, because really music, as with all the arts, it contributes to someone being a well-rounded person. Mm -hmm. And that, when you expand your mind by learning about opera or about great, great literature or great music, you're a person who has, a, who has an open brain, who is accepting of others, who is able to live harmoniously in the world together, as opposed to being in this small circle uh, of your little tiny world where you don't know anything or anybody mm -hmm. and you're afraid of everything else. So really it's when you're cutting those programs, it's not just cutting the music programs, it's, it's cutting out a piece of someone becoming a really well-rounded person who can really contribute and can really love the whole world. Well, we have a clip of you guys with the choirs. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. so I'd love to, let's roll let's, that, let's, let's take, take a look. look.
how excited wow. that is. <laughs> Those kids must have been just over the moon yeah. to get up there and Pretty perform. fun to watch. Yeah. yeah. We're pretty over the moon over here. Too. I know, I know. <laughs> and you should see, so you see the faces on these kids. Yeah. Some of them, it's the first time they've ever been on stage in front of uh, that many people. And we get letters from the choir directors and the kids, and it's, and it's like the, that, a changing point in their lives. It's, it's, it, it makes them so happy. They're thrilled. How does it make you feel? It makes us feel great. I <laughs> yeah. mean, it yeah. really is a great thing to see these kids just lighting up and having that experience and taking that with them and, and, and sometimes and, making a decision to go into the arts. And I will tell you, I've had a chance to work with organizations like this, and you know where the real look is? Is on their parents' faces when they're going, my son is up there jamming yeah, 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 with yeah, Foreigner yeah. right now. Right, I mean, right, that right, is right, a yeah. great experience. Yeah. Okay, okay, we have to take a break. We're going to take yeah. a break. When we come back, you guys will perform for I us. I want to take right? a break. We yes, we have, have to take a break. But that's the spirit of rock and roll, right? Hold on. Here with foreigners Kelly Hansen and Jeff Pilson, um, and they're going to perform. Does this feel like the day two after Christmas? I don't you know. <laughs> I know, right? It's beautiful. Though. It's beautiful. Um, what 2013 is right around the corner. What should we expect yeah. to be looking for from you guys? Well, we're, uh, we're rock and roll. We're going to be we're going to be, uh, be out on the road. We're uh, we're starting in January. We're doing one of those rock cruises to the Caribbean, so that'll be fun. And oh, then it's just going to ramp up from there. We're going to be uh, in South America. We're going to be in Europe. Uh, we're going to be all over. Uh, and just loving it. Yeah. You know, we're so fortunate to, to be in a band with such great material and, and we get to play music for a living. It's awesome. Well, well I know this gonna is going to sing gonna, and I want to yeah. find out what cruise they're on because I'm so going. <laughs> yeah. I'm going on that cruise. You can, get, you can dodge the coat there and get <laughs> yeah, rid of that, right? right. All right. Okay. Uh, here they are performing Feels Like the First Time, guys. All yours. <laughs> a stormy sea If that's what it takes me, baby To show how much you mean to me Well, I guess it's just the woman in you That brings out the man in me I know I can't help myself You're all in the world to me I'm so foolishly But now that I've found you Together we'll make history And I know it must be the woman in you That brings out the man in me I know I can't help myself You're all my eyes can see And it feels like the first time Like it never did before Feels like the first time Like we've opened up the door Feels like the first time Like it never will again Never will Won't you open up the door? Won't you open up the door? Yeah. Cause it feels like the very first time. Fantastic. Thank you. That, that, what, a, what, a, what, a, what, a, what a 
a rendition of that song. Oh, well, hey. See, Wait, good song acoustically. Yeah. It works. Yeah. It crosses all little yeah. platforms, yeah. doesn't it? That's why Mick Jones is being uh, nominated to be in the Songwriter Hall of Fame. That's right, right. there. Fantastic. Right. Well, we're so appreciative of his work. Yes. Uh, and you all right. Too. And we're appreciative that you're good in the kitchen. Up in the kitchen, right? you guys. Yeah. Right. Let's make something green. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna make green guacamole when yeah. we come back. All right. Bring your guitar. <laughs> okay, we're back here in the kitchen with Kelly Hansen. Not only can this man sing, he can no. <laughs> he can cook, <laughs> and he's got a sense of humor. Today, uh, we're going to have a little guacamole cook-off. So, right. I don't even know you cook guacamole. Do you, you cook don't it? cook you it. Don't no, cook you it. make it. But you need to pay attention guacamole. to this. Okay, so you need to pay close attention to how he's doing this. Okay. I'm sorry. This is gonna be a quiz later. <laughs> so how to learn how to make it. All right. Okay. So pay attention. Okay. All right. So how Mine do we get started? Start. Okay. You know, I Did used to work in a Mexican restaurant when I was like 16 years old. Really? And yeah. um, that's how I learned to. to um, did you make the guacamole there? Uh, yes, but it wasn't. It wasn't exactly like this. But I did learn how to do this uh, deal with the uh, with the avocado. Oh, it's, what is? Okay. What's the deal? Oh, oh so cool. brilliant! Look at that. What yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Did now, were you, you the one in the kitchen singing really loud as you were working and cooking and stuff? Did it just come out? No, that was somebody else. That was somebody else. <laughs> no, uh, it, was, it was really, really? the first, but it really didn't have anything to do with my love of cooking. I think that was really from uh, when I started playing on the road. We were uh, working a lot, and you just can't always get what you want, like the Stones said. Yeah, uh -huh. So um, uh, so you learn how to start cooking by your, for yourself when you go home, and it would be a relief. I'd make something. I'd know exactly what I was getting, and, and it would be perfect the way I wanted it. And, and I, it reminded me of a lot of uh, old R&B artists uh, in, the, in the 50s and 60s. They used to, they used to have to um, bring hot plates on the road and, and cook in the hotel rooms to get that good home cooking. You couldn't get it in the hotel, so you, you, they'd yeah. cook illegally in the rooms. Is that what you did? Uh, I don't. Uh, I, yeah, I, I don't do that now. But, <laughs> okay. But uh, how am I doing here? Am I you doing good? You're doing What kind of? Is there a special avocado that you have to use for your? Uh, Haas. Haas is a good, Haas? Uh, good avocado. Okay. Wait, there's different kinds of avocados. There sure. are different kinds. There's really? several different kinds. And have you ever get one of those avocados that's kind of stringy? You ever yeah. had? Yeah. That's yeah. usually from a young, a young tree. I have to oh. get rid of them because they're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're taste horrible. horrible. They're yeah. horrible, yeah. Yeah. Where did you get this recipe from? Is it yours? Well, it's not mine, but I kind of stole it from my local place, which makes it table side. So I kind of watched how they put it together. Oh, and, oh well, that's. I love that. So, yeah. And what I do is um, after I uh, get the avocado out of its skin there, I, I like to crush it up now because I don't want to crush up all the other ingredients. So I'm, instead of crushing it later, some people crush it later, but then you're crushing all the tomato and all that stuff. Oh, so cool. And by the way, some people don't like tomato or cilantro in their uh, in their guacamole. I and love cilantro. Yeah, I, I like it in mine, but there's I pick people who put uh, artichoke hearts or corn oh, or no. all kinds of stuff no. in there, and there it's just sacrilege. See, I never grew up with with guacamole. Like it was like oh. I, we just didn't. It wasn't. I mean, not that it wasn't available where I grew. We just didn't really have have that as a repertoire. So I'm not sure what it's supposed. Like now I do, but then I when I first saw, it, I was like, is this a sauce? Is it a paste? Do is you it like a, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah is it I didn't a know sauce, what it was, or is it a, a paste? paste? Is it you know like how thick you would make it if it was you know you could blob a bun? Do you like it smooth or chunky? Oh, I need a sharper knife. <sighs> you need a sharper knife. I need. I don't know if I like. I think I like. Uh, uh, you don't I don't like know. It? I think this will be all right. I think I prefer it. Oh here. Um, smunky. That's a little that smooth and chunky. Smunky. Oh. Smunky. I don't know. I don't like that. Well, one. I'm never, never going to eat your guacamole. No. Might be a lyric. No. Smunky guacamole. No. I don't know. No. Are you right, paying anyway. attention to how I'm making it? I was yes. watching this. The, the, the tomato went in. I saw you razzmatazz with the with the uh, avocado there. Could I help you with anything? Yeah, you want you want, is we have another cutting board? Maybe yeah, you I can could... cut some garlic maybe. Or, yeah, or, here it is. Yeah. Okay. How, di how, dice, you dice, want to dice? Dice right. I see what's going on here, by the what? way, Marty. You're doubling up on the intake that I'm supposed to be having here. No. You're telling me Listen, you've got pay two eyes. And now, well, Paul, we've got two against, against one here. Yeah, okay. I'm how many yes, garlics we'll do you want? Uh, just probably two is good. All right. Okay. Do you want right. them fine or do you want them sliced? Uh, diced. Diced. Something tells me I need. We should have moved this out to my workbench. Why? Yeah, well, that's good. My workbench isn't finished yet. That should be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got garlic and we have tomatoes and we have onion. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then, now, do you like yours chunky or do you like yours? 
because you're you didn't. Yeah. Smoky, smoky. Smoky. I don't like my smoky. smoky. Come on. <laughs> Charades, it is. Boy. It is. A little bit of cilantro here. Ooh, I love cilantro. Uh-oh. That's not a little. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use it all. OK. I'm just going to chop off a bit of the top here. Do you want some jalapeno in it, too? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Ooh, right. you are going to town on that yeah. garlic. I'm just going to get right. that out of here right now. So what do you, do you use this yeah. pestle and, and mortar at all? Well, you know, I have one at home that's made out of uh, volcanic uh, rock. Yeah. And, and it's kind of like seasoning a pan like you do with the um, with the cast iron. Yeah. Right. And uh, so this is granite. So I don't know how. I've never used a granite one before. So I don't know how well it works. But, but uh, many people swear by the, the volcanic one that it, that it enhances the flavor and makes it taste better. So, so okay, I'm looking at this because I don't know exactly what goes in guacamole, but I know guacamole goes in here, and I like it. Um, don't you have guacamole during Super Bowl? No? Uh, I guess. Okay. So you have to you understand, I don't it. slow down long enough to taste it. I yeah. usually just shovel it in, because that's just, but I don't, what makes this so good? Or why is it different and, and You're gonna make find it different? Out. It's, just a, it's just a, a combination of some simple ingredients. Oh, this is not hot, very hot. Here, I have, I have it. For, oh, oh, yeah, oh, you have some here, right? Right yeah. there. Oh, I'll make some more with you. OK. Look at you. OK. Maybe you can keep the seeds but, but, in. What, but, not with this knife, I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah. But right. what, uh, no, what makes it, it better? Yeah. Just the, the more you put in it, it just no, gets for me, for me, it's the less. The less you put in it, if you can, if you can s taste each ingredient individually in your mouth, uh -huh. then you're not too complicated. And you're, and you're getting a full, everything's speaking in a full voice, rather than being. Full voice. He yeah. the, as you can see, yeah. he sings a Making it kind voice. of a singing kind of reference yeah. there. OK, I and get that. Uh, but it, aren't some of the ingredients, like the onions, what if they're stronger? The jalapenos are stronger than the avocado. Am I not getting, will that override that? Well, that's where you, you have to blend together what you like, your combination of what okay. is, is your favorite Perfect. kind of combination. That looks delicious. So, just, so this is real simple. That's all it is. That's it? Yep. Do you need any lemon or lime or anything? Oh, yes, I do. I need some okay, lime. Sorry. Oh, okay. yeah. lime or Oh, he just, went to the Christina yeah. cool, School of Cooking right there. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. OK. He just like, smashes that so that the juice gets loose. The juice gets, gets loose. Juice, gets loose. There you go. And that goes oh, thank in. You. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, we got, a lot of, we got a lot of jalapeno in there. But it's not very hot, so it's all right. I, like I said, I like <laughs> food that fights back. Yeah. You like food and that's, that Should we put it in the mortar and pestle? Yeah. Should we put it for that for a serving? Sure. All right. Wait, what's that about? Well, are you going to squish it in there? Well, well, can't you just Well, we're not going to. We've already done. This oh, is just for presentation. Oh, for so. presentation? Oh, for presentation. Okay. okay. Oh, it looks pretty in there. They do this next to the table at the restaurant yeah. you go yeah. to? Actually, they make it They make it in the restaurant uh, in, inside of this thing. So. <gasps> oh, so look at chips. That. Oh, and look at that. Just taste mm. it. Oh, I mm. put it in a tortilla. Tortilla chip. Maybe a little Ooh, and these are warm, warm too. Okay. Well, and it goes in. Salt. A little salt okay. on top. And then I just dig it in like that. Yeah. And then I have to scoop. I need to do this. Oh. Mm. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're going to just mark to see if he. Uh, this is so good, I wasn't paying attention. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going to test Mark to see if he can make Kelly's guacamole when we come Did back. You pay attention? In a special way. <laughs> yeah. Kelly, that was outstandingly delicious. We've been eating your guacamole during the break. Yeah. It was really, really good. And now it's Mark's turn, OK? Yeah. So I hope you've been paying attention. I have been paying You're going attention. to be making a version of your guacamole, but we are going to blindfold you. You have to come over here. Okay, and we're going to, you're going to pick your ingredients by smell only, okay? All right? So. I have a cold, Regina, I have a cold, I can't yeah. smell. Okay, all right, so. Okay. All right, so. He's gonna use the knife like that? And you just Yes, I am, I am. Well, all right, now I'm gonna put something. I can make your guacamole, I can't sing your songs. Now That's... you just let me know okay. if you want this in your guacamole. Can you sing my guacamole? Really? Okay, do you want okay. that in what there? Am I, where am I going? Smell. Oh. <laughs> do you want that in there? No, I don't want that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you got you're gonna have you to want to come up with something. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, let's let let's try, try this. Okay. And you let me know if you want this in your right. guacamole. Okay. Yes. Okay. I want What's one that? of those. One of those. Give me okay. two of those. Two two of those. Yep. We got two of those. All, All right. right. All right. I'm gonna put my sniffer out there again. Okay. Here you go. That's a hard one. Is that a clue? It's hard. Yes. No, it's just, I'll take. I'll he's take, that. take that. I'm gonna take that. Okay. He's gonna, gonna take, take that. One. I'm gonna take that one. Okay. I will take that one. Okay. And if you, okay, should we go? <laughs> now be careful. Okay. Don't deep breathe. Yeah. Deep. Don't careful. deep. Yeah. What the? 
Want that? Want it? Want it? Want it? Want it? Want that it? doesn't want it. No, I'm trying to think of your ingredients, Kelly. Here, okay. Oh. <laughs> no, I have to. I'm, I'm going to pass on that okay. one. Okay, pass on that. That one smells like. Pass on that one. I'm going to pass on that one. Okay, yes. he's going to okay. pass on that one. Okay. All right. I got a pretty good sniffer. Okay. I can sniff something out. See what if you got? want some of this in there. What is that? Spam? <laughs> <laughs> that really bothers me that he knows what it smells like, okay? That was it really spam? disturbs me. That was spam. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's really scary to me. All right, okay. Hey, come on, come I was on, a kid you, once. Oh, spam. Come on, I was okay. a kid. You never forget that smell. Okay, what about okay. this? No, no, okay. no. Okay. No. Okay. Well, you're doing pretty well, good so far. Am I all right? Am yeah. I all right? It's working. It's working. This okay. is still working. Yeah, the I eyes are going. I can't see much anymore. Do you want anymore. this in your guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm not gonna hurt yeah. you. No, Come no, on. well, you're shoving okay. it in my. Yes, why not? Okay. I don't, I, I just. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Th this is a chipotle. This is a chili paste. Okay. That's this is. No. no. Oh, what you just approved. There's nothing there. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, stick your nose no, all the way in there. You gotta... Okay. Kind of. Um, you know what? Because I can't smell it, I say put it in there. Wow! <laughs> yes. That's exactly the opposite of what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> okay, how about this? Well, I have to live on the edge a little bit, right? Okay, where, where, where am I going? <laughs> that smells... What? No, no. Okay. That's Fruity Tootie. Fruity Tootie. <laughs> fruity Tootie. What is that? That was a banana. Fruity, that's a rock and roll song. <laughs> right? Okay, how, how about this? Okay. Well, that doesn't help. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a good smell. It's a good smell. It's, it's got to be something you're cooking no, on. No, it's a good smell. Okay. No, no. Okay. That's not on your list. This is garlic powder. Okay? So, you well, can, it was you close. You did good with that, though. You did good yeah. with that. Okay. All right. Wait, now, by the way, right. I don't know what I'm making here, but I ain't okay. eating it. What, what I'll tell you that. Because this could vary. Right. Okay. Okay. What do we have? What? <laughs> I feel sorry for your kids. Is that how you fed them? <laughs> Just shoved stuff in their face? Here, eat it, eat it. I'm going to say time out, throw the flag, and say no. That was, okay. that was, no. All right. you know, that was off sides okay. right there. All right, this was, was mayonnaise. Off. Mayonnaise. Oh, may is that okay. what it was? Yeah, okay, how yeah, about? Yeah, when you say it, I recognize All right. it. All okay. right, okay, 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 okay. Really, how many ingredients okay, how were there? weren't that many in there? Okay, what? No. Okay, this is cilantro. Of course we put that in there. Okay. I'm not going to have that in your guacamole. Oh. No. Okay. Okay, well then how Maybe about... Maybe it was the presentation of how it was... <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's see. This, by the way, does feel like the first time for me. I've never I've never sniffed out my guacamole blindfolded okay. before. Let's see if you want to put this in mm -hmm. your guacamole. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it looks like you have a booger in your nose. Oh, that must be the, that must be the avocado okay. then, right? I took okay. the clue. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So take, let's let's you can come out now. Oh, you can wow. come out it's now. Out here. Okay. How did I do? Well, so far did we it? have this was a re rejected. Oh, thank yeah. goodness. Yes. And this is what we're putting in your guacamole, which is actually pretty good. Wait, everything on here? Yeah, everything on here. You did very we well with your sweet potatoes. These are just no, salt and pepper. Yeah. Those, but yeah. Right. But I got I got what did I miss though? What did I have your I missed your um, cilantro. 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 Yeah. You didn't want Did you put these in? No, you didn't approve that. I didn't approve any of that. Didn't smell any garlic, so. No, so we're gonna make okay. guacamole. And thank God you said yes to the to the avocado. Otherwise, we'd be in a real big <laughs> jam. Two, minutes to, <laughs> make it, this right. two minutes to make it. Two minutes to make oh it. Oh my goodness. We'll help you. Okay. We'll help you. Okay. okay. Here we go. Bump. Okay. Good boy. Look at here that. Here we go. You want to hold that? <laughs> there you go. There, you go. That's there we go. Yeah. Okay. Don't All you right. need a bowl? You I need a bowl. I need a bowl. I got. So what do I have? A minute forty-five left. Down below, Christina. You're not a good sous chef. Okay. Why are we doing it with a knife? Look, look at that. You have yeah, all that look good stuff Martin. in there. Look I know. I have, look how hey, beautiful I'm he got that. All that beautiful. Isn't that I'm nice? I'm working it. I'm working it like. Very nice. I, I have. I. This is like That's super cool. fast. I know. I know. I know. Just, just use the spoon. It's kind of dangerous. <laughs> I like that. I'm using the knife. It's yeah. nice. All right. I'll meet you in a okay. dark corner okay. with an avocado. How much of this do I put in? Well, what do you want to put in? Go ahead. Go for it. Oh. Yeah, and you're gonna have the first bite, right? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna have the first. Yeah. All right, you, you have to taste it in order to I'm gonna to put some how chili paste right. in yep. here, if you want. <laughs> okay. I have to, right? I have well, to. Well, just you, I have use to. your judgment. Okay. Okay. This. Salt and pepper. Well, you could give me my tomatoes back. Oh, sorry, Mister. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. Let's work on those a little right. bit right, right, right there. Sure. A little okay. bit more. 
Well, you're doing Do we have any more chips? You have to use a spoon to slice it. Do we have any chips over there? Can yeah. I borrow some? Because Mark Here, put that in there. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. No, we can't put that. We, I didn't pick this. I didn't pick oh, this. Oh, damn. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's throw some. Go. Here we go. Throw those in. Yep. I didn't put. Uh, we want a piece there. Okay. Hmm. Look at you. You know what? You Excellent. make they, Jeff. Smash it. Come on. Smash I it. Will smash tell it. You. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Yeah, smash you're sitting. Smash, smash it. Smash it. This is. Where's my little stone? I don't get one of those, do I? No. 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 It looks like you've got a little we stone. We keep to make those. That. <laughs> you know, you, you can use them. your hands if you want. Can I? Yeah, squish oh. it with your hands. It's kind of a red guacamole. Wow. Okay. All right. Taste. Here, go, go for ahead it. and taste. taste it, Mark. Taste. Taste. Okay, taste. 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 Okay, go ahead and taste. I want to get. Oh, that's not good. Okay, here okay. it is. Here it is. Don't nobody go nowhere because this is about to become legendary. <laughs> I think you should show the two on camera back to back. Oh, I think that's a good idea. It's a good idea. It will show. And there you go. A and B. Here we go. Is that hot enough for you? <laughs> How is it? Got, got, that, got that punch you were looking for? Wow. Okay. Wow. All right, was it all right. smunky? It yeah. was smunky. Thank you very much, all right, Andy. So it's smunky. Is the Thank you. Kelly yeah. is the winner. Woo. Next up, we have Bye. ballerina Alyssa Voss with the Los Angeles Ballet. She's going to perform the Nutcracker, and Mark is going to give us a I'll dancing lesson. There you go. He's right, going to dance go. with her. I'm, I know. Now, what am I, when my day has just gone so well, I'm going to be a